uh, in any event. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Heroes never perish. Um, we're going to be going into the first one very, very soon. We'll see. Is it going to be the Emperor or Gore Magala? And, man, that's a, that's a scary He's trying to tweet this one out right now. Hey, guys, check me check me clean out, clean up this American here on Twitch.tv slash Evo. That's what, uh, that's what Pega just said. Yep. Literally, guys, this right here, guys, is so important. Everybody's been wondering, which region is better in arms? Is it North America, well, USA, or Japan? Gore Magala representing the United States. If he gets two sets, DC, that is a statement. I think that's a statement. That is a statement. I, I, I could beat you in two, three out of fives. All right, so we're starting off here on the Temple Rounds. Once again, this is the uh, stage they start off against his last opponent, Superman. Seems to like the stage a little bit. Gonna have a little bit of space to work with, but also some pillars. This, these pillars actually make it a little difficult for Max Brass. And right now, we see Gore Magala, he's kind of hanging near it so he can find some cover in oh. case things get hairy. Yeah, here is that Gore strategy, throwing out those buffs as fast as possible. Yeah, there's the meter already. Jump, instant rush, connection, 265 damage, a little bit less than most rushes, but when you're, you know, when you get as much meter as you do with these gloves, it's fair. Yep, and here it is. Uh, an answer right there, 325! Gore Magala, actually that 130 was all uh, Pega needed to get close right there in terms of health. Love that. Gore. Staying right, right next to the pillar, gonna throw out as many buffs as possible. But Charge also, that back. Yeah, also still has the cover of the pillar. Is uh -oh. that Max Brath not flinching? He doesn't have his buff up. Such great offense right here from Gore Magala, but just notice the way Pega's moving. He yep. jumps forward! Oh, it's just what I was about to say, the nerf to the glove rush might hurt Gormagala here. That last swing gave him the 265 health damage that he needed. All right, so, you know, that's good, but we saw uh, Pega holding onto his meter, knowing that, hey, I'm going to start this round and use my meter as soon as possible. Connection to 350 damage and, uh, what, eight seconds into this round? Bam, I didn't even think he was able to connect so much damage after whipping so much in the beginning. Yeah, it looks like he has a rhythm to it, going to go for the... Uh, the toaster first, and then finally using the, the Hydra afterwards. 170 damage coming out from that grab as he keeps keeping the pressure on Gore. Does not want him to get away to start those buff uh, charging up that meter. Oh, there he is. It, it begins, D1. Slowly climbing that mountain, trying to get all the damage that he can. But these shockwaves. Uh oh. And there it is, Pega. He's sitting on the lead. Both players have. Full rush right here. No grabs connecting either. Oh. It looks like Gormagala might just be out, but with all the great movement that he has, what do you think, DC? I don't know. We just saw that shockwave coming out yep. from Pega. Guard cancel on that blocked punch, but all the both players have their rush. I wonder if he's going to hold on to it. No, Gorgon to pop. Good night, popping his in return to get that shield out in time. Ooh, guard cancel trying to have a little bit of uh, aggressiveness after that. One more hit is going to do it for Gore. Gormagala oh. taking the first game, and I have to say, dude, that was actually really scary. You notice. He tried to wait out his opponent's rush by applying all that all that pressure yep. on block, chipping him a little bit, as and even staggering, waiting a, a little bit, then punched again just in case. Pega felt like maybe I could finally swing. Yep. So good job by Pega being defensive. He still could have actually brought it back, but Gore Magala, he's he saw that victory in the first game and actually grabbed it. So I hear a chant in the crowd. I'm not sure what that chant is, but it doesn't sound like the normal USA chant, so it might be the Japanese players Must in a chant Pega. of their own for Pega. Yeah, for sure. They're screaming for Pega. All right, game number two. Let's see what stage it is. Uh, we're going to go right back to Temple Grounds. Okay. Temple Grounds. And it looks like, I guess, Pega, Pega's a fan. Let's see what Pega does here. Down one already, does not want to give. I love that. Did you see that? Using yes, the again. pillars to get his buff out. Oh, yeah. Because he knows these punches are not going to flinch him because the, the Gore is not charging any of these buff punches. So I like that. At least using the pillars to get free opportunities to charge himself. But Gore Magala, no fear. Not going to be. Yeah, I would love to see uh, Pega maybe try to use that shock move a little bit more. He's really just having a hard time, you know, even making his way within range. Every time, just making sure to use that dash and uh, concurrently with that shockwave in order to get inside. But Gorba Gala, I mean, he barely gets hit. At least the hits that Pega are getting are charged, right? So, decent amount of damage to make up for the amount of misses that he's getting on Gorba Gala. Man, I would really love to see Pega maybe try one of these curving gloves because all these punches coming out from Gorba are going straight. But right there, that guard cancel dashing forward. Man, able to actually knock Gormagala down. But still, Gore, 
He's gonna have actually a little bit. Gore might be a little bit on notice now. We see Pega doing a decent job of not letting Gore get hits. So this is the mind game battle. Both players have their rush. Who's gonna pop it first and at what time? Definitely important right now for Gore Magala to get the first one, or, or actually both players to get the first one. Let's we'll see what happens. There are the shockwaves I was talking about. Finally activated some shockwaves. Ooh, guard cancel, guard cancel, the grab. Big. 170 damage. Big deal right here for Pega. Has only 10 seconds left on the clock. Gore Magala realizing this, getting as much chip damage as possible. And he can still do this, man. All he needs is some three seconds remaining. Yeah, he's gonna pop it. Oh, oh, it's very scary. Very, very scary. I thought I saw those two punches coming. I'm like, all right, man. You have punches out already. Don't get hit in the last one second. We've seen it before on the stream. I don't want to see it happen again, D1. And there it is right now. Pega making sure to just check his notes. Probably uh, making sure, you know, if his mom is like, hey, where, where are you at? Uh, I'm just here, you know, about to win this arms tournament real He's quick. He's checking to see how many followers he got on Twitter after this tournament, <laughs> man. His engagement's just going up. Imagine if he actually popped out a tweet in the middle. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> just got one round. Oh, down the game. very aggressive jump grab in Gore's face. I'm very surprised that Gore likes to wake up and uh, you know, punch. Just a broken glove. One gonna glove. Get, yeah, gonna get some good damage off of that. Yeah, right there. The only thing that he would be able to do is actually employ his uh, amazing movements to get out of the way. But it is Pega actually so far away from Gore, deciding to just charge like that. And here's counter rush. Gore Magala winning the exchange. Yeah, I love that though. If you saw before, right before the double rush, we saw him use that shockwave to get past the grab attempt from Gore and get right in there. But that shockwave actually is downfall because that let uh, Gore's gloves recover a little bit faster and start that rush off. I love how wide some of these swings are from Gore Magala, capitalizing on the fact that this character does have it's easier to actually land some hits. And we did see that arm go down. Barely any health left. Gore Magala just pops it. I don't think he's going to be able to KO, but he'll get some decent chip. Uh, Looks like about 25 damage. Yeah, so Pega here probably going to try and get as much meters as he can for the third round. Unless he can get, unless he gets some really good reads here, which doesn't seem like it's going to happen yet. Has the meter, definitely not going to. What? Yeah. All right, so much for what I was saying. He's just going to go hyper aggressive. He gets the rush connect, but he still does not have the likely. Oh, 170. After this grab, so much for what I was saying, D1. This man is hyper aggressive. He wants to win this game number two. Doesn't even want a game number th or round number three. Uh oh, we might see the grab. Oh my goodness no gracious. No grab for Magala. So good. Being able to have that ability to not flinch worked out so well. Because that punch, when it connected, you saw 55, right? 55, oh, yes. 55. 55. It would have been way better that if is it was a cleaner hit. Absolutely nuts, D1, because I was Buff. for sure saying he's getting ready for round three here as he has quite the life disparity against his opponent, but he said, nope, I would rather see game number three. That's why you don't skip going to the gym, man. This guy, he makes sure to stay buff at all times. Here it is. <laughs> But at the same time, it still seems the Pega is playing at a disadvantage. Noodle Bowl, the Ramen Bowl itself. I'm a fan. This is actually my least favorite thing. I'll, I'll be quiet. Right. It's, so, like it's so big. It, I, I love Ramen. I love Tokatsu. Okay. But the stage is huge. I'm out of I, I think, I feel like Pega's going to have a hard time catching Gore here. Like he's just gonna keep, he's gonna make sure he's out of range at all times. And even if he can catch him, he's like, oh man. It's, it's going to be rough for Pega, but we'll see what happens. Right now, Gore Magala's counterpick, actually. Yeah, um, oh yeah, it's yeah, definitely crazy. a Healy's counterpick. Let's see. But not quite working out. I mean, we're seeing the knockdowns. At least he was able to throw one grab attack, but not the second. I like this aggressive payout. Once he gets that knockdown, he's going to stay in there. Oh, and Gore actually rolling forward right there. Might take a rush. Oh, he did. He had the buff up. Did not flinch from that punch from Gore. Gets his rush to connect. And will take round number one on Gore's counterpick from Bolt. Gore Magala right here, representative, set Destroyer X, trying his best to represent all of the fallen brethren from NA. Wow, that jump forward right there with that swing was so perfect. Right there, able to get a hit. Yes, he does. Nice, only 150 damage. All, you know, any damage is better than no damage. That's but right. But uh, uh, we, I believe we have a toaster right now, right? Wait, no. Hey, he switched to double Hydra, it seems. And for Pega. Uh, Pega using that toaster and Hydra on his right. So very interesting, you know, we've seen Gore switch gloves a lot, always using the same glove on both hands, but I feel like as soon as as soon as Gore loses the round is when he says, I, I need to switch gloves here. Yeah, I mean, it makes perfect sense, because now, when the opponent is buffed, he's able to actually just get the fire knocked down on the opponent. Yep. And look at that! The changeup! Gore Magala's like, you know what, I understand the matchup. You don't want to flinch? Let me get that fire attribute real quick. Absolutely, man, that, that's crazy. So how fast he won that round after switching gloves. Yeah, yeah. 100%. It's all about counter picks right here. It's not right. wasting any time. Round number three of game number three here. This is Yo. really going to set the momentum for us. It's at 340 damage coming out early in round number three. So an uphill battle for Pega for the rest of this round. It's another knockdown. 
I love the way Gormagala opened up that game too. Jumping forward, making sure to stop Pega from trying to install that buff the moment the game started. Once again, both players getting caught by a lot of these rushes. Man, a lot of damage coming out from both. There it is right now. Buff installed. And Gormagala just trying to find opportunities to get that charge. Dashing around while in that puddle for him. And now looking for opportunities to get the knockdown. Where's that? That grab whip! And he counters with a grab himself! Yep, gonna throw out another grab as his opponent's getting knocked down and get as much meter as possible. Yo, actually right outside of the range of these attacks that are coming out from Pega. Look at Gormagala go! Can yeah, the cameraman even keep up? Yeah, that shockwave again gonna give himself a way to get in there. But Woo! he will get caught with that Hydra and Gore will take game number three. Or game. one game away from resetting this bracket, D1. One game away. Whew. Look at this, man. Evo Japan 2018, ladies and gentlemen. Gormagala taking a quick deep breath, of course. It looks like he's not even shaking. So we saw in that round number three, we saw uh, Pega switch over to the Chakram. Yep. Or uh, the, the Chakram type glove, but did not work out for him. I wonder if we're going to see him immediately switch back to the... Uh, Gee, what was he using for? He was using one toaster and maybe high, I think he was using a toaster hydra. hydra. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with how airborne that we saw Gormagala, I believe the Hydra does make sense as in comparison to many of the other light arms that um, go horizontally. Mm -hmm. The Hydra, it's, it, it's lined up vertically with the three uh, three light attacks. Yeah. But that's, you know, that's the glove I thought that Pega, we'd see Pega counterpick when he was using the double buff. Uh, that, that would help him get, a, a, I guess, a cross past his opponent's onslaught, you know, completely vertically towards him. Oh, so, all right, so we actually just got some more even grand finals will indeed be two out of three. So that is, that is Gore uh, resetting the bracket, yeah. All right, well, congratulations to Gore Magala right there. Japanese players absolutely losing their mind. Can't that's, quite believe it. Yeah, that's a... Uh, Wow. Wow. That's two out of three is actually blowing my mind right now. <laughs> so, yeah, you really got to be playing on point here. You don't have a lot of uh, margin for error when you're playing two out of three sets. Of course, Pega will uh, get another chance here, but it's still very scary. Yep, 327 players that actually entered this tournament, but now we only have two left on the battlefield with Gormagala versus Pega. Wow. I mean, and we had so many crazy things happening on the road to the grand finals here. Gormagala getting sent to the loser's bracket early in the top 16. Uh -huh. And then afterwards, actually able to get that run back here in the loser's finals to, to face off against Pega. Pega, who's been unstoppable this entire bracket. And, you know, he, he's been living up to the name, the Emperor, until he finally dropped one set here in the grand finals to Gore. All right, well, let's see if uh, let's see if Gore can do it again. It's going to be, you see him checking his notes right now. He's really trying to figure out well, what it was the deal here with Helix. How do I beat, I'm sorry, this DNA man? How do I beat this DNA yes, man? Yes, we're Japan. Show some respect. <laughs> uh, using this this double buff, either that or a double Hydra. Really having a hard time dealing with the, how fast Helix can throw all these punches. On top of that, you know, with his ridiculous mobility. You can't catch him, and even when you can catch him, uh, he he has the meter ready for that for that for that reversal uh, flirt uh, rush. So I don't know, man. I, uh, I, he tried the chakram in round number three. It didn't work out for him. I, I didn't see it. so toaster. He has his toaster, chakram, and hydra. Out of those three, it, it's it's gonna. Be, <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, try something crazy. Double chakra. No double chakram, man. Maybe, maybe that'll work. I mean, it, it would work. But you noticed how that Helix was staying outside of the range of that. Basically, the entire time you saw... Wait a second, wait a second. Huh? Are we sticking? I think he believed it. We have the Chakra. Yeah, Chakra and Hydra. Hydra. Yeah, we're back at it again. So this is what he's using in the round number three. Oh, wait, um, hold the phone. Three. Toaster. Toaster's back. Yep, the Toaster is... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, he switched to the last second. Okay. So Toaster and Hydra. And Gormagala sticking to the same core strategy. Trying to see if he can mix up some grabs in between a lot of the Hydra pressure. You know, going, getting these charge hits with the Hydra, like we said before, works out very well when you're playing against an opponent that does have anti-glitching capabilities. Yeah. A lot of ground game coming out from both. Or coming out from Pega. Does not want to jump in the air because that's going to get him blown up by the amount of punches. Oh, another grab. Two grabs in a row. And this is a lot. How he's got a lot. Got a lot of his damage in these last few matches. But there he is. Oh, immediately stopping him. The moment he activated rush right there. 
tough situation for Gormagala, but very smart using that using that rush to uh, get out of that grab attempt. If there's anybody that can bring bring it back here, it can be Gore, but I don't know. It's very difficult as the Emperor right here and Pega is no easy opponent. Yeah, it's going to be an uphill, a huge uphill battle for Gore. It's not that one pixel, uh, but he has. Uh, oh, I was about to say his mobility is so good that he might even you know he might be able to do it for a while, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it forever. As Pega will take round number one of game number one, second set of grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. So, looking at this particular stage, right, if the trampoline opens up, this will be a very tough situation for Pega. Yeah, I think I, I think Gore uh, probably practices on that trampoline quite a bit. Yeah. And you know, he's right, he's just waiting for that thing to break so he can start. His mobility is going to get even better. And uh, let's be real, right now it's, it's kind of hard for Pega to deal with. Great movement right there. Not even his arms are getting hit, but wait. Look how fast. 300. Uh -huh. Instant 300 damage from that double Hydra. Uh, the amount of damage you get from that, that those arms uh, in rush is insane. Pega doing a great job of taking advantage of those shock waves. And we'll get his rush connect. 270 damage. Not bad. Great bait right there. Buffing up and then immediately using that shock wave. But there it is. Taking all these hits. I mean... Even if he didn't flinch, like, all those 40, 40 damages yeah. can add up. Moving to the right. Gormagala hugging the right side of the wall right here. Not even trying to hang around center. Even though Trampoline isn't that bad of a spot for it, but there it is! The pop! KO! Not quite! Not quite, but he does have quite the life lead here. One more hit. But that has, that has proved, oh my goodness, again, instant. Insane amount of damage. Score will take around. Number two, and I was gonna say, man. Did you notice the way he managed to nail that though? There's a punch coming straight for him. Dude, his and mobility he's stuck is underneath. crazy. Underneath. You can tell he's seen almost everything before. He's always ready to crouch. He's always ready to extend his body when yep. necessary. Very impressive plays right here by Gormagala. So fast with his healings. So evasive with this character as well. No time to buff unless there's a knockdown. There it is. And, and Pega, he does. Right back. Yeah, it's so funny. Usually when a character throws out one or two of their arms, they're really stuck there and can't do much. But uh, Gore does have the option to shrink his body and avoid arms in case he misses a punch of his own. That was a crucial situation that just happened. We saw the rush get popped by Pega, but immediately Gormagala just shut it down. Gormagala's about to get full meter. Wait! Actually, Pega built that meter. Yeah, so but fast. it's not going to matter. D1, one more hit. Come out from Pega. We'll close out this match. He's going to get it. Take game number one, set number two, grand finals. This is insane right here. We're literally down to the final game between both of these players, USA versus Japan here at Evolution 2018 Japan. Uh, Evo Japan 2018. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're getting a little... Uh, got a little excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, oh, <laughs> oh, that's too <laughs> Can I get this man of water? <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa, Ninja College? Uh, of all the stages. Uh, this, this, these DC's, stages are blowing my mind, man. <laughs> here we go. DC's favorite stage. All right, so Pega's going to be up one match to Gore's zero here. Gore will need to win two more matches in a row. Oh, yeah. To close it out against Pega. Again. So this time the switch up. <laughs> double toaster. Dude, this fan of the doubles. Two, uh, double gloves, rather. Yeah, so you remember I was talking about how it's an uphill battle for Pega. Quite well, literally, literally an uphill literally. battle. <laughs> Here at the Ninja College in Game 2 of the Grand Final set 2. I guess Knockdown has Gore where he wants him on the bottom. He's not going to be able to use as much of that mobility to move around. Oh, instantly stuffed out of that rush. He's going to get his bump up too, so things are looking very good for Pega as he has a slight life lead. And get this rush to connect, yep. Big deal right here for Pega. That buff helping oh. him out so much, and 170 damage once again. He's going to go another one, and that's going to be it for round number one. Pega on tournament point, D1. The Emperor right here. One round away. Gormagala, he's going to have to switch it up. Uh, and things are, yeah, things are looking bad, too, as Gore starts off on the bottom of Ninja College. They will switch sides every round. Hanging out with both Hydras on. Both hands, this is it. This is such a tense situation. You saw him think about those black glove pick for a while because he knows this could possibly be his last match of the event. He was able to reset the bracket, but things are not looking good here as he's one round away from losing the tournament. Yep, Gormagala's going to have to move faster than he's ever done before. Be way more unpredictable, but already two hits. Knocking him down. 
Gormagala actually employing more shield. Shockwave gonna get him out of that grab attempt and give him a free 280 damage. And there it is, Gormagala is just getting knocked out Dude, over I, and over again. This Ninja College pick for Gore is not working out for him in the way he thought it was gonna be. And he's not getting any charge hits right now with the Hydra to knock down his opponent. Great Shockwave usage. But there it is, solid damage right there. Gormagala trying to bring himself back in the game, but we almost have full meter. Oh, and the grab to connect, but he's still on the bottom. He's trying to switch sides, trying to jump up there, but doesn't get, oh, Gore Gormagala. gets knocked down. Again? Can he do it? Both are, ooh, narrowly avoids that grab with the roll. Here's the rush, gets his shield out in time. So some chip damage from Pega, but he's like, oh, one more hit for Gore, maybe two more hits from Pega, but there it Pega is. will do it, Pega will win arms at EVO Japan 2018 over Gore Magala. Wow, what a set from these two players. D1, my goodness. An amazing job right there. Like we said before, he is the emperor and he's currently reigning over all these guys from around the world. We have so many great representatives from Pakistan, from Korea, from all over, USA. Finland, Canada, D1, this is crazy. And yet he stands tall above all of them. Great job by Pega, he is your Arms, Evo, Japan, Japan 2018, 2018 champion. champion. Wow, that was an amazing set from two amazing players. There's no way, absolutely no way Gork could feel bad about that. He was able to reset the bracket and make the necessary adjustments, you know, to, to, to take Pega to that loser's, to lose his side. But he wasn't able to clutch it out. They are even some very close matches. I really do think that Ninja College pick had a big deal. Uh, you can tell, you can absolutely tell Pega was feeling very comfortable on that stage, especially when he had, you know, the height advantage. And that last round was looking kind of scary, but Pega was able to clutch it out in the last seconds, man. Woo! What a set, everyone. Very, very, very.